Massimo Capra? No. Now you're ready. Yeah. My name is Massimo Capra. I am the brand ambassador for Samsung Appliances. And today I'm here with a brand new oven, the Dual Flex oven, which is really taking my heart because I've been working on it for the last three days and uh, great results have, uh, have, uh, I have achieved great results with that. So let me explain to you how it works. Now we have our range, we have our oven. This oven is a full cavity oven. So the, the same big size that you can roast a big turkey or a roast beef completely. And, uh, but the beautiful thing is that that's oven number one. Now you have two more ovens here. You have an upper oven and a lower oven. Okay, the upper oven and the lower oven can be controlled at different temperatures and you can actually cook different things in it because they are controlled with different separate fans. So, so Massimo, is this, yeah. is, this, is this replacing the, the double oven that we've seen in kitchens for, for, for many years? I believe it, it would replace the double oven that you've seen in kitchens for many years, absolutely. What are the, what, <coughs> what's the temperature variation on each of the, uh, each of the compartments? Okay, the compartments are controlled by uh, two fans. Yeah. There is two fans, one on the top, one on the bottom. If you don't have the dividers, that's a full convection oven. Right. So if you put the divider, only the bottom is convection. The top is a roasting, uh, a roasting convection. There is a little fan, but it works with the broiler and the fan. So therefore, you don't have a true convection. Okay. It's similar to convection, but it's not a true convection. Now, what you want to ask me is uh, if there is any temperature bleeding between the two, if you have one on and one off. Yeah. And I can tell you and guarantee you that we put a thermometer in there, we turn one oven on at full blast, at the ma max that it would go at 375, and it up, up the upper oven totally off, and it wouldn't register on the thermometer. There is absolutely no bleeding of temperature, and most important, you could bake your chicken uh, or your fish with lots of rosemary, garlic, lots of stinky, beautifully stinky produce in it, but you can do your pies or your sponge cake in the bottom, and there will be, and no, there will be no odor mix-up. Really? Absolutely. Yeah. Guaranteed. Now, is this in the market already? This will be in the market in the next uh, couple of months, I believe, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And. And look at the, the, the pulled chicken. A little example of what you've been well, pulling yeah, out, this is, <laughs> this is my pulled chicken sandwiches. Wait a minute, where did I put my yeah. stuff? <laughs> oh, no, my wife took it away. Oh, I can't believe it. All right. So this is a pulled chicken sandwich. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove the... Oh, look at that. Just falling off the bone. Beautiful. I should just shake it. Look how moist this thing is. Now I bake this one here at 375 and feel how crisp the skin is. Just put your microphone right there. Oh yeah. Nice. See that? That is delicious. Huh? When you see chicken doing that. Mm. But I'm putting this chicken in a sandwich, so. There you go. <laughs> is that directed to you? Is that so? <laughs> That's pretty good, Eddie. That was a good line. <laughs> He just said, nice way to get a free meal, Thompson. <laughs> Massimo, thank you very much. You're very welcome.